Okay, I'm here with Larry Schwartz, who is the Deputy, Deputy Assistant Secretary at the U.S. Department of State. And Larry, we're here talking a lot about trafficking of antiquities, and the U.S. is a huge market country. So what can the U.S. do as a market country to help stem the flow of these antiquities that are being trafficked? That's good. Well, under the 1970 UNESCO Convention, uh, which uh, aims to help the international community get together around these issues, we uh, are we created our own law to implement uh, the United States uh, commitment to this international partnership uh, to combat uh, the illegal flow of antiquities. So we now have a process that's very well established and well understood uh, that can help countries that are in need find a partner in the United States to uh, stem the flow of illegal antiquities to markets in the United States. Since we as the United States represent more than 40 percent uh, of the total market in antiquities, it makes sense that as the largest market we can also uh, help prevent the flow of illegal antiquities as well. So uh, what we do is we ask that countries that are interested approach us for a bilateral uh, cultural heritage agreement which uh, they can do and which is not really all that hard uh, and we believe that we can uh, work together with these countries uh, to um, assure that uh, the burden of proof is shifted to importers uh, to, 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 to prove that they're bringing things legally into the United States. Americans are very very interested in this region in the Middle East uh, and they have been for many many years. I think it's wonderful that American scholars, uh, historians, um, anthropologists and others are really interested in this region and it's not surprising to me either that Americans are also leading uh, the effort to uh, restore a certain balance in the relationship between ourselves and the countries of the Middle East to uh, demonstrate respect for the history and culture of these people. Um, through our law, through our traditions, and through our uh, partnership. We're partners with these countries in so many other ways. Uh, we should be partners also in the protection of the region's history. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I really You're appreciate welcome. it.